previously on the NoVP channel. And coming up, wiping the king's ass. That was a job. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia channel is made possible thanks to our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive Garbo. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you, this snafu! Good evening, and welcome to another Novimpia motion picture. To my right, Nova, and I'm Joan Crawford. No, you're not. What makes you decide if it's good afternoon or good evening? Not if I am or am not Ms. Joan Crawford. Yeah, because you often go, good afternoon. Maybe it depends on if it's afternoon or evening. Maybe. Do you think about that? You stupid slut. Listen to this. Oh, you're such a slob. <laughs> not a slob, that's not right. Oh, and my God, Nova, we find ourselves again inside the internet, ready to tackle another faves and shitters. Yes, it is our February edition of Novimpius Faves and Shitters. Which means we are going to talk about three things we love and three things that we don't so much love. Who? That grammar was excellent. Did you like that I just said that? I wasn't listening. Don't so much love it, nah. Everywhere like such as and... Now listen, Nova, stop yapping your gums. Just be quiet for just a second because this is quite important. Now this. <laughs> I don't think we should go on a second further with this without talking about someone who's made this possible for us and that's the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark! Woo! We have been using Surfshark for years and years, Nova. You don't even know, Nova. I would know. We can testify honestly to how great it is. It is a virtual private network or a VPN that keeps you completely safe as you browse because it encrypts all the data sent between your device and the internet. So there's no risk of your personal data being compromised. Which is great when we're using hotel Wi-Fi or any other public Wi-Fi because you never know really how secure those connections are so I always like to use Surfshark. Especially in a hotel room that Alex Polizzi wouldn't really approve of. <laughs> and if that's not enough you can also use Surfshark to switch your real world location to a completely new one. So it doesn't matter what country you live in if you use Surfshark to change your location you can get access to so many more different content libraries on your favourite streaming yep. platforms. Yep. Like Now TV, mm -hmm. Hulu, Prime. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, it's especially useful for us as we enter into Eurovision season because they've got servers in over 100 countries. We just have no idea where we're going to be sent off to each day. What television network are we going to be watching? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. You don't even know where we live. Where do I look like I live? Careful. <laughs> Oh, listen, okay, look, prime example here. Did you know that if you're in America, and I know a lot of you guys watching us are, you can get Surfshark, switch to the UK instantly, and then you get more shows on Netflix, like what RuPaul's Drag Race. Do you remember that? Why are you holding your breast? Because you've punched me in the tit the last few times. <laughs> Listen, we've spoken about how we've used Surfshark in the past to get better prices on things like airline tickets, but mm. did you know you can also use it to mask your internet traffic from your ISP? And it's also available for download on all of your devices with unlimited logins. There is absolutely no risk in trying Surfshark because they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want a brand new VPN, you're looking to upgrade the dog one that you've already got that's dog and no good and doesn't even work then check out the link in the description box below. Yes, that's right. By using our code NOVIMPIA, you can also get three months for free. So click on the link below and thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you and a tip of my hat to you. Who am I tipping my hat at? You are right, Tom? I guess, you know, there's nothing, there's no further for it, Nova. Would, I would like to start this time. There's no further for it. Yeah, and I'm going to start. Away with words today, I'm going to start. Now, don't you start. Because oh, you've started for the past couple of times. Oh, then. And people have gone off in the comments. They're like, that seems fucked oh, up. I don't, fucked think, I don't up. think anyone has said the anything. The comments are... I don't think people care. At least one of them... I don't like the energy in the studio today. Why not? It's unpredictable and frantic and I don't like it. The day that it becomes predictable, Nova, <laughs> is the day that we say, that's enough, we're gonna stop now. I'm afraid that time has come and gone, my friend. My first favourite, olives. <laughs> I love olives. I love everything about olives. I love olives. I've been in a, uh, like an olive phase now for about 20 years. Right. No signs of stopping. I olives. Hate olives. They're just like grapes, but salty. They're a fruit, aren't they a fruit? It's a yeah, fruit. I think they are. I think they are olives. Fruits. I love olives. They're dirty. Um, Filthy dirty. I haven't found a single fruit that I haven't agreed with yet, Nova, including olives. Olives are gross. Melons are disgusting, though. <laughs> 
much though. But I like olive oil. Charlotte. Nova obviously is a vegetarian. She's always trying to get me to eat some sort of mung bean every Thursday. Mung bean. And it just drives me mad that I can't use olives in cooking in the house. I love olives. You would think, wouldn't you? She doesn't like hummus as well, which I find very objectionable. I'm warming to hummus. You're warm in general. You're very sweaty and clam clam today. I'm wearing a breastplate. You seem very unhappy. To- this is lovely down here. This. I'm warming to hummus. That's such an image. I don't know if you know how visceral that image is. What? You warming yourself to like a giant vat of hummus. <laughs> Olives are great. I love an olive at the beginning of a meal as like a little... Oh, just... I love vagina. Although, stones in an olive. We have the technology, guys. Take them out. I can't stand that. When in a restaurant, and they'll bring you just the olive off the tree. Well, it's not off the tree. Did you know you can't eat an olive off the tree? Why? They have to be treated. They have to be, like, brined or oiled. Otherwise, that you can't eat them. Why? I'm not I called Mario. That. I don't know this information. Mario. Over. <laughs> Aren't they a very Italian dish? I really enjoy the olive Pokemon Lolive. Lovely. I love them. My little... Really cute. It's always quiet. My little salty grape friends. Olives. I don't need pimento in an olive. I don't like when lemon's involved. Sometimes like a nocha, like a nocha lara. Nocha lara. A nocha lara. Mm-hmm. Eh. A nocha lara. Mm-hmm. Eh. Oh, well, speaking of music, I've got a song. <laughs> Now, I'm aware this is dog shit, but I feel like coming from this person, I don't think they're trying to make a serious impression. I don't think they're trying to have a serious go at being a pop star, because they don't need to. They've just got musicians in the family. There's probably a studio in her house. <laughs> and she's just having some fun. But Heidi Klum... <laughs> I don't know if anyone's aware of this, but like the last few months, she's like dabbled with some really awful pop music that I am just eating up. I love it. You are her primary audience, Nova. Exactly. Who's listening to Heidi Klum sing? Her like first foray into music was a collaboration with Snoop Dogg (laughs) Uh called Chai Tea with Heidi. Uh-huh. And it was great. There was a music video. She looked stunning. She did like some choreography. She's not like a singer by any means. She relies very heavily on auto tune. I don't think it matters. I don't care. She's so likable. It's called likeable. Chai Tea with Heidi. Uh-huh. But she's just released her follow up to her smash hit. And this one is called Sunglasses at Night. <laughs> okay, everyone, get your sunglasses out. Everybody, grab your sunglasses. <laughs> I don't want Heidi Klum. I don't want it from Heidi Klum. There's a lot of things <laughs> I'd like from her. There's no lyrics to it. What are the lyrics to this song? How? Let me read them to you. But it's there's that bit so in funny. Chai Tea where she just goes, uh, uh, Don't this is, that bit. This is Sunglasses at Night. No, don't place. Okay, everyone, get your sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> ich bin Heidi. Was ist deine Lieblingsfarbe? Ja. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. It sounds like... I wear my sunglasses at night and I'm ready to wait. And I'm ready to wait. Yeah. This is Sunglasses at Night, her latest single. I think it's a bop. Okay. I, I'm here for it. I'm okay. I'm here for more music from Heidi, Heidi more Klum. chai tea Ky- with Ky- Heidi. I'd go, f- I'd go for not chai tea, because I think that smells a bit like pee, but t- like a coffee, I'd go for a coffee with Heidi Klum and make her say, it looks like she is pooing fabric. Her model looked like she was pooing fabric. She's fun, she's a slice It's clearly just something that she wants to do because she's clearly enjoying it. She does not need to do this. Heidi Klum is so famous. Nobody like, needs to do that. She does not that. need to do this. She clearly is just having fun and I like that. I think, it's, I, think I like it. She, all she ever did was that worm at her Halloween party. <laughs> like her life's work is complete, but good for Heidi. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my own first shitter now, and okay. I know people are going to scream at their devices. Oh no. Televisions, what computer have you done? screens, phones, if you will. I'm scared. Can you pick me up? I'm scared. My first shitter is the base on an electric toothbrush. <laughs> Because it you always know, gets all scummy. You know what I'm talking about. You take your electric toothbrush, you shove it on a little tiny plastic nubbin. First of all, how does that charge apart from magic? <laughs> how is that charging? Just me and my magic toothbrush. How are we still plugging shit in? If yeah, like there's how, this magic little tick. When I was at school, I was under the impression that a circuit needed conductive metal to be complete. That's plastic. That is plastic on F- that. Fucking Marie Curie over here. What just came out of your mouth then? A plastic conductive. <laughs> 
What? I don't, I wasn't very good at science. <laughs> the fact that it gets all dirty. What is that dirt? What is that? Because you clean it, to, I'm telling you, the next day, it looks like the backside of like a cow. Like it looks it's like a, a mixture of like old toothpaste and lime scale. Spit and ass. Because it like, drips down the toothbrush, doesn't it? And then like settles. I don't know underneath. what that dirt is. I don't know what magic is going on inside the base of an electric toothbrush that means it's going to start gathering that kind of like ass. Scum. Scum ass. What is that kind of dirt? Where does it come from? Where did it come from? I and mean, then it like goes hard. Oh, and you try and clean it off and it makes the most horrendous sound. Oh, no one. And then you've cleaned it lovely, charge your toothbrush, and the next day, what? It's back to looking like Angelica Houston in The Witches. I've got far too many questions. Down to the base. Who made it? How does it charge? People will answer those questions. Please tell me how it charges. Because the, I don't both get those it. Questions have answers, and people will be answering. It. I don't get it. Some sort of black magic. It's like the exchange you make for making a deal with the devil, where it charges without there being any sort of plug. The so deal you make, it's filthy. Is it's fucking filthy. Filthy, dirty. Your shitter now, please. It won't be right. as good as what I've just come up with. This is something that annoys me to no end. Charity work. And always has done. Working with the elderly. And I feel like it's a particularly British thing. And I fucking hate it. If you're in a club at a live gig, God forbid, in a cinema for some reason, a song will come on. I don't know what defines or what is the deciding factor that makes a specific song trigger this within the average British person. But the one that does it the most has got to be We Found Love by Rihanna. People going, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Along to a song or clapping. <laughs> Tapping along to music, I hate it. I am about 99% sure I've already had ooh ooh as a shitter before. Clapping. Let's go with clapping. Well, both. I'm well, saying first both. of all, that sound, people, it's very British. Where that fucking comes from, who started, who's the first, <clears throat> who was the first to make that noise. I've never, where do they live? I've never witnessed it outside of the UK. And I hate it. I bet you would find it. Possibly. What but also noise? like clapping along. So this is more for like a live performance. People, yeah. Why? Middle-aged ladies will just Why? start clapping along. Also because it's not on, on in time. You can't hold the rhythm and it's ruining whatever you're listening to. Stop it, stop it. Unless an artist literally says, Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Hey, clap, 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 clap your hands. Then fine. If not, please don't clap your hands. Let's eat to the beat. You know, I went to see Jinx Monsoon years ago in the Vaudevillians, and it's like... When did you see that? Years ago, when we thought we found that dead body, do you remember? We thought we found a corpse. I remember. Anyway, that's a whole separate story. Let me know if you want to hear that. But she starts singing along, and it's a fairly upbeat song, and she stopped singing. I mean, I'm feeling like she had planned to do this as a bit. <laughs> But she stopped singing, got up and said, All right, this is where I tell you not to clap along. <laughs> Did she really? I know you guys love doing that, but please, God, just stop clapping along. <laughs> People were screaming with laughter because obviously, you know, there's a bunch of drunk women. They just immediately started doing this and oh, she was so over annoying. it. And that's she was like, so do not clap along. It's Jinx Monsoon, Joan Rivers. People, like, it did start to get there. But it was just, they have a red carpet, I'm not lying to you, on the Porn Awards. A red, it's shaved. Oh, Joan. Yeah. Joan Crawford. No. I could have been Joan Crawford in a previous life, do you think? Will you be Betty Davis to my Joan Crawford? No. You get to sort of knock me about. Have you got another okay, fave? Okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, my next favourite is also a song, Nova. Oh. Uh, it is something. Eurovision songs are cheating. That has absolutely no fucking relevance to Eurovision. I feel like I just want to start singing it. Maybe you'll join in with me on this. <sighs> Take my hand. Get ready to sing. <laughs> What is it? Just we and Dolly <laughs> in my San Tropez. Just we and Dolly in my San Tropez. Have a, a little, little dance. dance. Avec moi touche. A vous and a vous. Get the Chardonnay. Have a little drink I'll have with me tonight. OK, 
Okay, this ah! requires a bit of story time now. I so, can't believe this has ended up in your face. This is so dumb. It makes me so happy about how terrible and bizarre this whole situation is. There's been like a Twitter thing where someone tweeted and was like, gays will cling on to the most obscure pop song ever for years and years and no one gives a shit about it. So people have obviously been retweeting it with their versions of this, which is like... I just want to pause there. Freeze! Because a lot of these gays don't understand the meaning of the word obscure. Just because something's old doesn't mean it wasn't like a number one hit in multiple countries. Someone said Kelly Rowland Commander. Yeah, like, grow up. First of all, get a fucking grip. And it's talking not about obscure. like Tan Mom, Weird. the yes, song. Like exactly. the Tan Mom song. It's Tan Mom. Glamorous Monique Punch My Kitty exactly. Something like that Punch it, my titties. Someone posted And it was just a very short clip And when I tell you The feeling that came over my body Of <laughs> what is that And why do I recognise it so much It was like The most horrifying Trip down memory lane I can't even express What this did to me Because I was like I remember vividly Like singing along to this song At a party somewhere It's almost kind of like A different life scenario And it's this group of girls Called the Dolly Rockers <laughs> Who went on the X Factor They weren't really a thing They had this one song And this song is so Bad, but I can remember. I think it's great. How can you say that? I remember putting this on at parties to piss people off and just like prancing around, just going, just sweet and dolly. And it's these three the chicks. Trip they day. could not look Label. more like 2008 if you paid them. The styling is so atrocious. And they're literally going around like abusing people on the tube, singing this. It's so I also really like their kind of shtick where they each had like headphones over this like the massive dolly back rockers. Hair. But now I can't stop singing it because it's just fucking catchy shit. Just sweet and dolly. I don't think I told you this. I messaged about six people to be like, oh my fucking God, remember this? <laughs> Each of them said no. You're joking. Not a single person remembers it. Am I the only one? You are the only one. <laughs> The best thing is like the lyrics are like Gonna get down to a Tesco Oh I'm getting fucked by a Greg's Bakery I don't At the think, Tesco I don't think there is anything like I'll be your dolly like bird Get off my shirt <laughs> I don't think the lyrics are anything like Get that. off my foot Je suis un dolly What does that mean? I am un dolly Yeah I don't know What does je suis mean? I am I am But I don't know what if dolly is like Actually French or not So they're literally just going I am a dolly Because isn't a doll uh, The French word begin with a P Petit dolly It's it's like I can't remember <laughs> um, Next fave uh, This is going to be I always thought this was kind of hilarious But now it's it's slowly becoming a meme And I, I love it If you are uh, Active on Twitter or X ever since Elon Musk took over and fired like 95% of the team of people that worked tirelessly to keep that site safe, free of bots and free of glitches. There has been a wave of bots recently that will comment on oh. like absolutely anything <laughs> and it just says my pussy in bio. <laughs> And it's always typed out a very specific way. It'll be in all caps and each letter will be spaced out with like a symbol. And I think it's a way to try and like avoid what little kind of spam catching algorithm there is on the platform. But it's everywhere. My pussy in bio. I am obsessed. It's so ridiculous. The best one that I saw recently was a Final Fantasy VII meme. The giant snake in Final Fantasy VII. When it gets impaled by Sephiroth and it has like a little sign on it written in blood. And the sign now just says how do you find a way of inserting my final fantasy into everything like yeah i oh i mean try explaining that to like a victorian child just what? to reiterate then we've had olives eh, just sweet and dolly my pussy and bio my pussy. <laughs> this is a real this one is quite a lot isn't it there's a lot to just sort of break apart and think about these girls, these these bots, these I pussy say, girls, are everywhere. They are and, relentless, but... and they want you to see their pussy. <laughs> hey, thank God. <laughs> But people will like Just say it now Just to sort of like Be funny Get out of an argument And I'll just reply with Yeah but my pussy and bio <laughs> yeah, Which we've it's taken It's become like It's own thing now Which I kind of love I feel like in terms Of our cadence It's really good It's almost like a Yeah but Donald Wears your trousers <laughs> oh, There's an old tissue here I'm going to use this How old do you think this is? I don't know But I've got, I've got fresh air Yeah but save the planet And everything This is fine I'll use this Yeah but my pussy and bio <laughs> Just we and pussy and bio. I think my face is really just fucked up. Shall I have a look? Oh, it's perfect. Okay, my next shitter is Dulce de Leche. Dulce de Leche. 
Dulce Delecky. Dulce Delecky. It angers me no end. Oh, first of all, I can't say it. It haunts me. I'll tell you what haunts me. Dulce de Lecce as like an ice cream option. I don't understand what it is. No one's ever able to explain to me what it is. I can't say it. People try and say Dulce de Lecce, don't they? To sound all kind of like- Is like, it not Dulce de Lecce? You tell me. I don't know. What is it? That's how I would say What it. is it? Tell me what it is. Just tell me what it is. Is it not like caramel made with condensed milk? But isn't that just caramel? I don't know what it is. You know when you heat up condensed milk and make caramel, that's like a very specific type of caramel. And I'm sure that is Dr. Dulce de Lecce. I could be wrong. What does that mean? What I does it mean? Lecce means milk. <laughs> does it? Yes. In what language? Spanish. Dulce de Lecce. <laughs> Or Italian. In my Lecce name. means milk. I just, it irritates, I don't get what it is. I was watching this interview. Oh, Anya Taylor-Joy was doing an interview. Right. And someone was like, if you're eating ice cream, what would your favorite <clears throat> flavor of ice cream be? I don't know why she's being interviewed by Barbara Pebbles, but she is. <laughs> We're all gonna get together to talk about Jesus Christ. Anya Taylor-Joy is so kind of like, she's really like Ethereal. movie star. Like she always kind of, and then she just kind of goes, oh, it does have like. Dulce <laughs> leche. Dulce leche. I don't think she did. And they kind of looked at each other and they were just like, what? What? Dulce leche. What? Dulce leche. And then they're like, oh, she said dulce de leche. The way we think we say it. <laughs> dulce de leche. <laughs> I don't get it. It is a great ice cream flavour. But what if it's just caramel? It's just the caramel. Dulce what is it? The Dolce Hagen does. Oh, it's just caramel though, isn't it? It haunts me. I feel like I see it in my dreams. Find Sido and bring him back! I will! I see the words everywhere. Don't make me try and spell it. Has one of the letters got one of the little hats on it? You are right, Tom? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it drives me mad, Dulce Delecci. Oh, I just feel like you've mentioned it on this channel before. I might have done. Someone let me know. Oh, well, God. We're just repeating all the same things. The day that it becomes <laughs> predictable with the occasional <laughs> insertion of my pussy in bio. <laughs> You're shitter now, please. This is like not particularly funny. It's just a gripe of mine. A um, gripe? That's yeah. a good word, isn't it? Thanks. It's very close to grape, which is also similar to an olive. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, not no. Mm -hmm. eh. We're flying to Scotland soon to see my family who live in Scotland. It'll be the first time in a little while that we've flown with EasyJet. It says EasyJet. It is easy if you get here on time. They have changed their <laughs> luggage fees and I have never experienced this unlike any airline before. I was always under the impression that included in your ticket would be hand luggage and that hand luggage includes Gah! a small item that goes under the seat in front of you and a, a slightly larger item that has to fit in the overhead locker. I always thought that was your carry-on, your hand luggage and that is like pretty standard across the board. EasyJet now don't let you have the one in the overhead locker. I've been sitting there watching it for half an hour. And they'll charge you 50 pounds for it. 50 pounds? Five zero. 50 quid. Ah! Nova, the whiplash I got from the ridiculous frothiness of my pussy in bio <laughs> to the absolute boring seriousness mum's net value of EasyJet and charging me 50 quid for extra hand luggage. Now I will say that is for a return flight so it's 25 pounds each way but still that's really expensive. Do you think they care about that? I just think that's such a con. I feel so ill today. <laughs> it's not EasyJet at all. It is easy if you get here on <laughs> if time. If you get here on time. It is easy if you get here on time. Well I just think it's that not is... cheap jet, it's easy jet. I think that's a bloody liberty. I really do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a mother. Mother's meeting. That's so PTA. Well, that's something that I think is really shit Easy right jet now. charging me for my luggage. You unimaginable bastard. Why do we need extra luggage? How long are we going because for? Because you can't fit everything underneath the seat in front. If you can, where you? Are we? How long are we going the for? The chairs get smaller and smaller. There's less and less space. Where is this Willy Wonka's chocolate factory? What are you talking about? I don't understand why we need so much luggage if yeah, we're going to Scotland. Donald wears your trousers. Yeah, but pussy in bio. My friend and long time esteemed colleague. Pussy and bio. Okay, it faves, is it? Oh, you know what? This is also incredibly like mum's net. Ancestry.com. And I swear th I, this is not sponsored by Ancestry.com at all. I have signed up to this because I've been watching Who Do You Think You Are? Oh, no, but Who Do You Think You Are should probably be my, my favorite, really. It probably has been. I l probably has been. Let's talk about that. Your tell is fabulous. Kim Cattrall's episode. I think that specific episode probably has been. Kim Cattrall's episode of Who Do You Think You Are when she goes to look for her grandfather, who's a bigamist. I find that quite quite despicable, especially as a woman. Really despicable. What is a bigamist? Nova. Charlotte. Someone who gets married more than once. Oh. And he did. 
he left them and then got married again. Son of a bitch. I have a date with a dildo. But I was a little bit hungover the other day watching this and I thought, I'm going to trace my fucking roots. He <laughs> thought, I'm going to create my I'm own I'm going to do it. So I reached out to my cousin who knows a lot about our family history and I was like, where are we from, first of all? I like, I know who my parents are. I don't know anything more than that. I don't know where we're from. Don't know anyone. That's really odd because you've got such a large family. Yeah, but I never see anyone. Don't see them. No, but it should be very, <laughs> like, I feel like your family should be really easy to trace. I've never been told that we were anything other than English, British, English, out the asshole. Which is why I feel like it would be really easy to trace. It's so boring. I phoned my grandmother and I was like, I want to do a family tree to find out if we're anything other than English. And she said, oh yeah, if you go back a little bit, we're Norwegian. And I was like, how the fucking hell is no Have one Have you verified ever... that? No, I think she's lying. I, well, I, I, <laughs> I think someone told her this and it's not true. I went on Ancestry.com and it's really exciting because obviously you put yourself in details. It comes up with like census records and stuff. And then it's like, boom, we think these are the parents of this person. And it's so exciting clicking on the parents' names, going through records and finding where they were born. And it was exciting, exciting, slightly less exciting. Oh, we're now going back 1800s, oh, 1700s. It's all the fucking same. It's Middlesex, it's Hastings, London, East London. Now it's North London. It's so dull. I finally found an Irish woman, which makes me think I might be related to Leslie Roy. Don't think that's how And also there is Welsh. In the 1700s, I found a Welsh person. Hello, campers. My grandmother, I don't know where she got that from. I'm still looking, but it's so exciting. Family histories. Right. No one famous yet either, apart from myself, obviously. <laughs> son of a bitch. You go back, there's nothing exciting. A grocer in 1700s who might or might not have lived in Wales. I don't want that. I want like the king, like the person who was responsible for like wiping the king's ass. That was a job. I learned that. My name is Gwen. I'm here to wash your vagina. I keep going to click on it thinking like maybe that wasn't their mother I'll find someone better but like that was their mother so what can you do about that <laughs> this is me my next favorite will go into my last shitter as well it will go into your shitter <laughs> like lead you, into it you've got to be a bit more careful with your language <laughs> darling <laughs> and what are we thinking for the shitter? the marvels which is the latest MCU film, you see Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Captain Rambo team up together as a trio. It's so much fun. It's a female-led superhero movie. I didn't see this... What? I don't know what's happening, honestly. There's something really biological happening. Didn't see this in the cinema because unfortunately it is one of those Marvel films where it requires some homework before you watch it because um, Miss Marvel in particular is a character that was established in the TV series. This film was like completely shat on and it flopped at the box office. I, I, I'm sure it turned a profit because it's not like Marvel or Disney to not turn a profit, but it underperformed, shall we say. And it got fairly bad reviews from like the mass on the internet. People really shat all over this and said it was like terrible, trashy, crap. <laughs> And I was kind of like, oh, that's a shame because I was really looking forward to this. Several months later when it comes out on streaming, it's so much fun. It's just really cool to see these female superheroes because I feel like we don't see a lot of that. They're always like secondary characters. So it's fun to see them as the main protagonists. I thought there was a fight scene that was really, really interesting and really well edited. And I just really enjoyed it. Despite, Lovely. despite what everyone on the internet was saying. Well, don't read the press. You know what I always say? What's going to be on my tombstone? What? Oh, no, look. <laughs> I did to craft it. Don't believe the press. <laughs> I can't add anything to that. Oh, well, I'd recommend it. Well, not for me, you wouldn't. No. No, I wouldn't like it. No. I wouldn't understand it. No. Not that you would try to understand it. Venom. <laughs> Your tell is fabulous. What on earth is that? Tiramisu. Miss Marvel, you're talking about? That was the one of the characters, yes. I'm not doing this again. Honestly, this is really quite taxing. <laughs> well, Paul Bettany. No, <laughs> no. That's another he's one. The one. He's the one in WandaVision. I take such umbrage with the fact that there's a character called Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. They're all Marvel. Right, yeah, but Miss Marvel is because she's a kid. Don't turn her into a child. <laughs> yeah, but Marvel in bio. <laughs> and we are now on to our final shitters our last round shall, over. I, shall I do mine first as it's like continues off of that you take it home just we and Dolly shut up 
up, Olympia. My last shitter, especially like the last couple of years, I think social media kind of has too much power in a way with deeming if something is going to be a success or not. And um, there are a few examples. The Marvels is one of them. I think people just decided it was bad, so then no one went to see it. I'm sure the critic scores weren't atrocious, but it didn't make very much money. And now all of a sudden, people are defending it and speaking up for it and people are saying like oh it was actually quite good i don't know why people said it was so bad this keeps happening this happened with a game called forspoken when that came out people shat on it people ripped it to pieces took the piss out of it it underperformed so badly the entire fucking studio closed now i'm seeing everybody saying oh my god forspoken is so underrated it weren't bad no it was good i shouldn't have believed what people were saying i should have given it a chance i'm seeing it as well now with the she hawk tv series basically my thing is let's just have our own opinions and maybe only look at reviews from people that you like and trust that have similar interests to you and don't listen to all of the hubbub and mass the hysteria on the internet about things just make your own decision because it's too late now if you like something a year later or month, like for Forspoken we're never going to get anything from that game again the studio's closed so there's lots of people shatting on things in that wasn't there yeah lots of but I'm just story. saying like you need to support things at the start if you want more of it you've got to nurture them and show them it's all very well that you're, you're realising now that something that was released last year was actually good after all because it's already been told no you're not going to get renewed you know what's not good enough that it upsets me. Don't you agree? There must be an example, like, in your, like, bubble that fits this. I don't think so, because I, you know, just have really excellent taste in things. They s continue That's to... Not the message of the story Continue at to all. get made. Stuff just continues to get made uh, in my world. <laughs> they wouldn't dare cancel my favourite shows, because mine are all so old. They've already ended years ago. I just watch the same things over and over again, don't I? I just think a lot of it is down to racism and misogyny being masqueraded as critical reviews when really people just don't like seeing but that's gonna happen in with superheroes people just don't like seeing people of color as their lead characters or women yeah because a lot of because people all into three your of those fandom, examples i've given were all women and two out of three were people of color they're very gatekeeper-y and they're very kind of like dumb boys I swear never... <sighs> that's dreadful for you isn't it um i'm sorry <laughs> it's interesting that you were talking Wait, about this is an example literally your t-shirt all very well now that that's got a cult following but jim henson was fucking devastated when that film flopped <laughs> that's not anything to do with social media is it no but it's still the same principle okay my last shitter is okay this absolutely fucks me off no end i think this speaks to how again like you just said social media having like power people not having an attention span and it speaks to kind of industries having to bend to people on social media it's when trailers for movies have even tinier trailers before at the beginning them. oh my god yes that fucks me off no end so you'll get a trailer for a movie surprise robin williams mm. sally field who needs a husband when i've got you and it's literally like what a minute and a half two minutes of someone's time but the first five seconds the first five seconds is the end of the trailer but just made into an even even tinier one so in 10 years time what's going to come before that just fucking watch, watch the movie fucking watch it one split second and just like ah there's the movie drives me mad these people don't get me where i live i know i know i know what's up I know what's up, Nova, and it's, I'll tell you what it is. It's mini it's trailers. Very smart. It's, I understand not liking it, but it is very smart. And I, I think hate it, it is necessary. I hate it. Academy Award winner Judy Dench. Academy Award winner Maggie Smith. <laughs> when did we become Thelma and Louise during all of that? What's this all about? <laughs> I find it irritating. It it irks me. I just want to watch okay. the trailer. I don't want to have to watch a little one beforehand. So I'm that sure you can like I know what it is. I've clicked on it. Whoopi Goldberg. What the hell? The further we get into our timeline as a civilization, the more advertising is like someone coming into your bathroom when you're on the toilet and they shove something up your ass. They're just like, look at our fucking product. And it's just like, ah! Futurama had that, I can't remember what it was, but there was like a device where it would like advertise to you in your sleep. Lightspeed briefs, style and comfort for the discriminating crotch. <gasps> ah! Your 
final shitter. No, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Oh, we are done. Yeah, because you 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 went the other way around. Yeah. So first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming for that. That felt like a weird one, Nova, didn't it? That was a lot of... Lays could do with a little clean, couldn't it? A lot of weird stuff. What? It's been a long day here at Nova in Pia Manor. We've still got two videos left to film. Oh, bum and the rest. The content's just going to be coming out and out, and people are like, why don't they ever get changed? Yeah. I think we came up with some really shit things to talk about in that. (laughs) Speak for yourself. I will I think be. I had some great input, some lovely ideas. I will be speaking for both of us. If you'd like to follow us on Patreon, oh my god, we've got some great stuff over there. Have we, have we not? I can't see it. I can't see it. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, there's the podcast, there's the Discord, etc., etc. And you can get in on the action by visiting the address, which will be arriving on screen Nova, just now. Just we and Dolly. In my Santa Pay, have a little dance. A voulez vous. <laughs> Go down to Tesco's and nick a Prosecco and then run home. Get off my show. <laughs> Very that vibe, isn't it? I don't know if it is. It is, yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> What comes next usually? Do you know what it is? It's too warm in this room. It's very warm. I'm going in this insane. Room. Why is it's it? Really I'm, I feel warm. like my bra- my brain is fried. I just thanked you for Melting. nothing. You were my world, made me strong. Thank you, messed up my dreams, made me strong. Thank you. No, ooh, please stop ooh. laughing. <laughs> Listen, some of the guys on Patreon get birthday shout-outs, don't they, Nova? Yeah. Including... But I'm limited to... For February 21st, happy birthday, David. Happy birthday, David. 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 Do you remember when Victoria Beckham... No, just David, but... Oh, why did you Victoria say that, Beckham then? used to say his name a bit like that. For the 22nd, Megan. Happy birthday, Megan. Happy birthday, Meg. Excellent show. For the 23rd, Charlotte. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Charlotte. On the 24th, we have Daniel's birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Daniel! As well as Richard's birthday. Happy birthday, Richard. And on the 25th, it is Michael's birthday. Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday to you! Michael! And we also have a Twitch where you might yes. join us for games night. What are you playing at the moment? Oh, The Sims. Oh, don't say. It's not going to be very, like, a good advert. People aren't going to want to watch. The Sims? I'll tell them what I'm playing instead. No, no! My streams get more viewers than yours, Nova. <gasps> Because they're really up and coming on off current games. <laughs> the Sims. Playing the Sims 1 on console, which is a very obscure game. I think what? I mean, what are we talking about? Like two years old? Still pretty relevant, I think. That's it then, isn't it? I'm yeah. now gonna go and delete this entire thing. I think that's probably for the All best. the footage is gone. And uh, uh to our brand new patrons, Chad Price and Mikey L. It's hot in here. I'm hot and bothered. So take off all your clothes. Uh-huh. I am getting so hot. I'm going to have an aneurysm. Oh my God. Join the Patron. We'll do a shot of Patron.